half past five in the morning here in Lima, Peru. Behind me is the Lima Bay. Uh, I'm gonna run for more than 10 kilometers and I want you to come uh, with me <laughs> in order to see how it's running in the morning very very early in the morning here in Lima, Peru this is a regattas club we are I'm going straight ahead to the corner over there and then I'm, I will go back through this way in order to get the beach this is a beautiful view of the skyline and the lights of the city are still on so As you can see, there are some vehicles coming just because we are at the very beginning of the morning and people are waking up in order to go to their jobs and offices. Okay, I am almost by the sea level. As you can see over there, on my left is the beach very early in the morning it's still dark here but I don't know if you are able to see the sky is getting clear and this is the beach Okay, so I have to run at least five kilometers more until a rocky point uh, from where you will be able to see the waves of the of the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and I hope by that time it's a little bit more clear okay so let's go that is the beach that connect or join the Chorrillos neighborhood with the beach here in Lima in Chorrillos properly talking Barranco Beach and uh, people are getting ready for their surf classes over here it is still a little bit dark but uh, it's getting clear there are some clouds over there some other boats in the pier and um, people are like ready to practice their favorite sports so I have to I have to run there are some few kilometers left to my goal and Okay, let's go on.
This is another part of my running journey. This is the Gala restaurant, one of the most exclusive restaurants in Lima. Just because of you can look out of the sea. Uh, some people are arriving to this place in order to surf. Okay. Okay, in this part of the journey we will find a lot of closed restaurants that look abandoned. These restaurants were a little bit exclusive just because they are located by the sea. This stoned sea. In the past there were I mean, there, there were some signs that covered the beach but nowadays it's covered by these stones why? I really don't know Okay, this is a panoramic view from this point. As you can see, the ocean is relatively calm. Not a lot of strong waves. The sky is getting clear. Even clearer than I thought it would be. So now it's time to go back, it's about uh, perhaps a little bit more than 7 kilometers from this point to my home, so I hope I can get at least 15 kilometers at the end of this running journey. Uh, well, as you must know, I'm trying to vlog in English to push myself in order to push myself uh, in, uh, in terms of talking in English <laughs> to improve my English that's the idea behind of this kind of vlogs my goal is to try to vlog as much as possible in order to make my English language skills more accurate in order to improve them and in order to be able to communicate my my ideas not only by blogging but maybe in, a, in an office if someday I want to, to work and not only to travel because uh, your language skills when you want to travel are not as complex as uh, the one you need the ones you need when you are like you know in an office like working in a labor environment okay okay now it's time to leave I will go back from this place on my left on my right there is <laughs> more sea on my left the same this uh, kind of um, stone I don't know the name in English sorry but I like uh, you know bulls or resemble 
a sort of you know the thing that you use in the canyons sorry I don't remember all the names in English uh, it is a, in Spanish it's called mastil I don't remember the name in English but it is a real mastil from chip uh, a warship an old war, Peruvian warship okay so time to say goodbye Okay, and now we are basically by the beach. Very early in the morning, it's about 15 past 7 in the morning. And this is a panoramic view of the beach here in Lima. The sky is, well, if we see, if we turn on the left, we will see that the sky is cloudy compared to what we see on my right, which the sky is clearer compared to the other part of the sky. So, Let's walk for a while. Uh, there are some kilometers left that I have to run, but it's okay. I just wanted to show you how the beach is, the beach is in here. You know, there is a, sometimes there is a problem in my pronunciation just because words beach and beach sounds like similar for someone who is not a um, uh, English speaker native and that's a little problem just because people could understand or people can could have some other meaning <laughs> that you don't want to communicate but it's okay so there are some people around I think they are like swimmers uh, maybe they are training on this part of the sea They are like training. Okay, this is the same view we had uh, previously in this moment, you know the daylight is over the city so everything is clear and clearer compared to the shots we had previously you know, these little boats scattered belongs to the the fishers of Chorrillos
the boats are like parking after a night of fishing there is a local market where you can get fresh fish okay so it's time to go on my running uh, this is perhaps the hardest part of this journey just because I have to run and I have to go up through this way that uh, make it even hard harder and I have to get to that part which is a kind of here or sidewalk which is probably the neighborhood of Chorrillos okay I did it I already ran this part of my way well it's it's hard it's not easy but as long as you get used to the running in these circumstances it's gonna get easier for you Whew. so this is the sidewalk of Chorrillos a very traditional part of this part of the city there are some houses or I must say the bricks of traditional houses some of these houses are about 100 years old so they are very old and this is the bay of Lima a panoramic bay of Lima a panoramic view of Lima <laughs> 